There are some people who think that the Bible and the science, they go, don't go together. And they even make a statement that Bible is against science or Bible is unscientific. Well, Bible is definitely not a science book, but definitely when it comes to issues as far as related to science, Bible is always truthful. From that, we can understand that Bible is truthful and it is God's word. When it has to deal with issues, it will never tell a lie. I'll give you a couple of examples that clearly indicate that Bible is God's word based on the scientific evidences. For example, in the 16th century, 17th century, people were trying to identify that the, this earth is round. Till that time, they were always thinking that the earth is flat because they picked up few verses from the Bible and interpreted in a wrong way and that's how they thought. When Galileo proposed to the whole world that the earth is round, people were not willing to accept. But please look at this. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 22, it clearly says that God is seated or enthroned on the circumference of the earth. Kug is the Hebrew word that is used. Bible clearly says that the earth is round. Isaiah was written 700 years before Christ. Galileo discovered that 15 or 1600 years after Christ. There was a gap of 2200 years, but Bible wrote it in the beginning. Let me give you some more examples. In the 18th century, people discovered that the life exists in the blood. But look at Leviticus chapter 17 verse 11. God told Moses not to eat the blood of any animal because the life is in its blood. But Moses wrote that 3000 years before Jesus Christ. Whereas this was found 1500 years after Jesus Christ. So there was a huge gap. Bible has written it much before. There are so many evidences like that. For example, very recently in the 20th century, we discovered that this earth is hanging in a vacuum. If you look at Job chapter 26, verse 7, it clearly says that God has hung this earth in the vacuum. Amazing. Till 20th century, people wanted to count the stars. They thought they can do it. But in the Genesis, God told Abraham, you can never count the stars because they are uncountable. Now we have come to an understanding that the stars cannot be counted. But the Bible has written it much, much before. My friends, Bible is not against science. But you should understand, Bible is not a science book. Bible is meant to give us life eternal life. It is meant to reconnect us with God. But when it is doing that, it will be always truthful. It is my desire and intention. This should motivate you to read your Bible and may be connected to your creator and my creator.